Hey. How are you, Miguel? Good Hi. to see you. Good to see you. How are you? So, how was your day, man? Uh, I think fine. More Everything good? Yeah. All right. I found a good novel to read. <laughs> nice, man. What novel are you reading? It's a Japanese novel and... What do I say? It's a take on another gender. It's an, uh, another gender. Okay. Uh, that it's uh, the usual story where Otomis, it, I, don't, I won't know how to explain them, but it inverts the story at some points. It's fairly good. All right. All right. Very good, man. Very good. Today, um, so I had to go. You know, I had to go to, to my other workplace. I had to go like to the actual building. So while well, I was right back home, you know, I om I actually ran out of gas. You know, I I, I ran out of fuel. Uh, I ran out of, out of fuel. So, um, because my car started like, you know, like like stopping and and then um going again. So it started like like stuttering, you know. All mm -hmm. right. So that's when you know, like, cause like 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 the. You know the 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 thing that that measures you know the amount of fuel that you have in your car, that that's broken mm -hmm. you know so it doesn't work right so, so dude I was in like like in the middle of Monsignor Romero dude I didn't have any gas station around, so I like the the car like completely stopped, and I was mm -hmm. like Jesus Christ I was trying to call one of my friends and, and I actually I, I I just I just turned it on again dude, and believe me like it turned on again, and it worked just fine I was like okay. It might be, you know, the carburetor or the, or the carburetor or something, right? But but uh, it started doing it again, man. But this time around, I was like half a mile away from my gas station. So I was like, please reach the gas station. And, you know, um, my car ran out of fuel exactly when I arrived to the gas station. <laughs> I don't know if, it, if that's lucky or, or, or unlucky. <laughs> Dude, no, I mean, that's lucky, man, because, I mean... I was like, like that, you know, I didn't have to like walk to get gas or anything, you know, so I'm glad that happened. So yeah, and then, you know, I, I actually like, I actually um, completely filled the, the gas tank. So, you know, um, it was, mm -hmm. it was good, man, after that. But yeah, I was like, you know, if I hadn't been able to do that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here on time. Like I would have, I would have called in, you know, um, call off you know, the, 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 the class, right? But all good. All right. What about you, David? How was, how was your day? I was pretty good. Was it good? I love right. this weather. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. The weather's been awesome. I know. Yeah, I love yes, it. Yes. Yes. It's been really <laughs> awesome. You know? All right. What about you, Lita? What do you think about the weather? Uh, I don't like this weather because I prefer the sun because wow. this weather is like, um, I don't know how to say it, but that? it doesn't help to, to, my, to my body. It doesn't help your body. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you seem to take care of your body a lot. You always talk about it. Um, yeah. So, so you mean like, why? The, the reason, you know, the reason why I like this weather is because it's like chill. It's, it's, it's a little bit cold, you know? So, um, so I like that side of it. Like if it is sunny, you know, that what, what I don't like about is sunny weather is, uh, basically you feel very hot, you know, the, like, I don't like, you know, a hot weather. So, so why is it like, what, what exactly is it that you like about, you know, a sunny weather? First, because I love the sun. So you know for me it's like no I'm, i don't know i feel like sad or very lazy oh yeah <laughs> and i i am very high imperative so is You're it hyperactive because, okay yeah and cause and that's where it caused me pain in my body oh okay yeah the, the cool so i have to 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 drink a lot of medicine and I don't like the medicine. Okay, all right. All right, that, that makes sense, okay. All right, very good, very good, okay. That's that's crazy, they didn't know that. 
All right. Uh, what about you, Armando? What do you like? Well, I like this weather because it's like more rela relaxful. It's more relaxing. Relaxing. Okay, it's more relaxing. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, I agree with you. All right. All right, guys. So let's get started. All right. So today, guys, we're going to... Uh, we're going to continue with the presentation. All right, so let's take a look at this, guys. So how creative are you? All right, so let's talk about this, okay? So you're going you're gonna to practice this with a couple, guys, okay? And you're going you're gonna, to uh, answer these questions, okay? Now, the only, the only thing that I don't want you to do uh, is that I don't want you to just answer these questions like that, okay? So if I say, for example, I, 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 am I a risk taker? Are you a risk taker? And if the answer is yes, I am a risk taker, all right, I don't want you to just answer like, yes, it, you know, I am always a risk taker, okay? I need that reason, okay? So I'm going to be checking on you, and uh, pretty much what I want is to hear that reason, okay? Are you a risk taker? Yes, I am a risk. I'm always a risk taker because I do this and this and that. Got it? So you have to give me a reason. So if I say, um, so if I ask uh, Lydia, for example, hey, Lydia, are you a risk taker? And Lydia's going to say, no, um, I am rarely a risk taker. The reason why is because um, I don't like to get out of my comfort zone because I'm scared all the time. All right. So that could be a reason. OK, so if, he, if she says that, what do you think? What do you think that would be a good qualification here? A one, a two, a three, or a zero? If she says that she is not really a risk taker. Zero. All right, maybe a zero, yeah. right? Maybe a one, okay? Mm -hmm. But ne definitely not always and sometimes, okay? All right, so now you're gonna be, I don't want you to take a look at this, okay? Do not take a look at this yet, because this is on, on, the, on the video, but I don't want you to take a look at it yet, okay? We're going to try to see what type of, you know, uh, what your score means, okay? All right? So you have to qualify your partner, okay? So depending on your partner's answer, you're going to put them, you know, um, well, actually, your partner, I'm sorry, is going to determine if it is a one or a three. So at the end of the day, guys, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna you're gonna add them up, right? So three plus two plus three plus I mean plus one plus whatever. Okay, so you're gonna add this, okay? So you're gonna add the scores that you have, all right? And at the end, we're gonna see what type of uh, you know what what it means for the person. All right. Let me show you an example. All right, Miguel, uh, are you a risk taker? Not much. Not much. Okay. All right. Why? Um, well, if the risk doesn't, isn't it, is too high and, uh, well, first, if the risk, if the risk is too high, I wouldn't take it. And if it does, and if it's not that high and, and the, does it have a high the reward stuff that I, and the stuff that I'm going to gain for taking that risk a is reward. not uh -huh. worth it, I'm not going to take it. Okay. So, all right. So you, could much. you say, so from, from zero to three, you would say that you are sometimes a one or rarely a one. A one at okay, most. very good. So see, guys, that is what I want you to do. Got it? David, you good? Yes. Lydia, yes. you good? You good, Lydia? Are we yes. good on what we're going to do? Okay, Armando, Mr. T. Ellie, nice to see you. Hi, right, Mr. T. Very good. Uh, do, you, do you have any idea on what we're going to do right now, Mr. T.? Oh, you're muted. Uh, I guess we're going to have to answer the questions adding number three to zero. Exactly, right? So I'm going to ask okay. you, hey, Mr. T, do you consider yourself to be a risk taker and why? All right. Um, yeah, in my, case, in my case, yes, I am. Always. Why? Uh, because I always try to make new new. You know, in my case, I'm starting my little business and oh. I started from zero. So uh, I create new menus every day, something different so people can come back again and buy it and taste it. And, and if it's good, 
they're gonna come back again and buy it again. All and right. See what is good and yeah. Okay, good job, good job. All right, that was just an example. Good job. All right, so see, guys, Mr. T answered the whole question, right? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to answer the whole question, and Mr. Three said uh, that he's a three, right? So you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask the second question, Mr. T. Are you naturally cur uh, curious? Uh, Mr. Three is gonna say, you know, uh, rarely, right? So that's gonna be a one. All right, and you mm -hmm. go like this and this and this. At the end, guys, you're gonna add them up and you're gonna come up with a result. That result is gonna be, it's gonna determine, you know, the type of personality that you have. Got it? Got it. Very Got it. good, guys, okay. All right, but don't take a look at the answers, okay? We're gonna go through the answers together, okay? All right, do not go through the answers yourself. I mean, add them up, guys, but I don't want you to come here. I don't want you to look at this, okay? Do not look at this yet, okay? Very good, guys. So let's get started. Okay. All right. Let's go, guys. Hello, Mr. Thomas. Hey, how's it going, David? Mr. T <laughs> to the Z, Thomas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. So, uh, where are where are those questions found? Are they oh, the... oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot. This is my, my presentation. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I forgot, guys. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sin. Hey, have you ever have you ever run uh, have you ever run out of gas in the middle of of uh, in the middle of nowhere, Mr. T? No, I have never because I don't have a car. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm okay. Right. Neither. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, never. All right, hold on. Uh... Okay, there you go. So I sent it to the WhatsApp group, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let okay. everybody else know too, because I forgot. Um, sorry about that, guys. I hadn't sent you the image, uh, but I sent it to the WhatsApp group. Um, no, right. I I had it's in the so. Okay, very good. All right. So uh, I don't check the part after that. <laughs> all right, sounds good. Sounds good. All right then. Okay. okay. No. So, are you a risk taker, Ellie? Sometimes. Oh, but I... Hello, guys. So, can't see much the WhatsApp group if you didn't have it, okay? Yeah, we have it yes. here. All right, sounds good. So, continue. Okay. Are you unnaturally curious? Uh, yes. Yes, I am very, always, <laughs> sorry. I am very curious. So I always, I am asking questions about things that I look or things that I read because I love to know things in new vocabulary. So yes, are you natural curious? Yes, I love to know different things and to learn about different topics and experiences and and that that's it okay do you do look you... for opportunities to improve things um sometimes yes i think that if i don't do that i am going to be in in comfort so i don't think that that is a good idea so i try to look for opportunities always and do you look for opportunities to improve things yes always i always looking for tutorials or for learn how to do things that i don't know or practice the, the things that i have already know Okay. Are you sensitive to beauty? Teacher, I don't understand this question. Can you explain it, please? Me neither, teacher. Number four. Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah, I'm, I was muted, sorry. Uh, the, 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 let's see, number four. Are you sensitive to beauty? 
All right. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's just how, like, basically, are you superficial? Okay. Uh, that's what it means if you're superficial. All right. So, do you care a lot about beauty or not? Okay. Always. All the days, all the nights, all the morning. <laughs> so I try to care my skin and my body and my body because I don't know, I feel good if I do that. So I do always, all days. Okay, all right. And what made you what what do you think what what made you be like that? Um I think that is like it's like um i don't know how to say in english but i'm going to say in spanish como que me demuestro mi, mi amor propio like that okay if All i right. do that always so right. i feel good i know that the beauty is like um subjetiva i don't know how to say in spanish in Sub english subjective but I think that it's a good idea to take care about it because it's like a kind of self-love. All right. Oh, no, yeah, I, 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 I completely, okay, very good, okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, yes, you have to, you have to love yourself, I guess, right? But, but what specifically made you be like that? What do you think that, that specifically made you be like that? So... Because usually people is not really like that, but what, what do you think that made you be like that? What I think is to be like that. No, what, what do you think that made you be like that? To, to, uh, uh, to care so much about that? Um, uh, I have an example, my mom. My mom is like that. She care, she take care, her screen in her face. So I, I love that. I love to look her doing that. So I, I do it because she always say me, you have to take care about your hair or oh, always, always she, she take care about my hair. So right now it's like, I do because my mom's uh, teach me that. She oh, okay. And I think I love it to do it. I don't know why, but I love. Yeah, no, I, I understand. I understand. Okay. Very good. What about you, Armando? I think that sometimes because things like my notebooks and my bedroom, they are like perfectly like clean, but I don't take so much care about me or to any skincare and things like that I doesn't take um, that much okay but things like movies and books I mostly read them because of the cover okay all right all right okay so you're very organized but you're not too much into beauty yes all right okay so from so so we got we got Lydia is, is a three right how what do you consider yourself three two one zero one and a half one and a half okay I right, see so you rarely right so let's yes. let's put that as a one okay very good very good all right interesting answer from Lydia though <laughs> good job Lydia <laughs> uh, number five okay so let's let's continue guys okay I'll, I'll, I'll leave you you know working alone. Right. Yeah. Okay. You show three. Right? Do you adapt um, easily to new situations? Which one are you talking about now, guys? The seventh one. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. I I do. Um. You or you do. Yeah. Actually, three three. I think. Three. Because um. Yeah. If this is a bad situation, he... Sorry? I sort of. So, I think sometimes for me. Sometimes? Mm-hmm. Mm, well, um, sometimes I am... My ability to become, uh, to, to be better, like, uh, for example, I'm cooking, and now, like, for the first time this past weekend, like today I'm still really tired because it's been like a really busy weekend. 
is the, for the first time I made pupusas. And so basically, mm-hmm. I like for, to, to find opportunities to improve things. And if, uh, on Saturday, I only have one employee. On Sunday, I had two employees because we couldn't deal with everything by, uh, by our own. So, so now, from now on, like every weekend, I'm going to be selling pupusas. I'm going to have two employees. I'm going to find, I'm going to give employee employment to like three more people because uh, I need people to deliver the items. So, yeah, I'm willing to improve things. And, to, and I always uh, have my customers or my friends taste the food before I sell it because I want to improve the flavor and the design and everything. And I always try to find for, look for information. And I always take uh, my friend's advice on how to improve things. You so, mean you always uh, take, take feedback? Yeah, I always take feedbacks, yes. Hey, that's good, man. That and is good. Can you make pupusas? Uh, well, I can because, yeah, I do. I used to do it by my own right. but for my grandma and I, but I, um. in, a, in here <laughs> where I live, I have to have a woman making the pupusas because you know how we are Salvadorian people. And I have another lady dando la vuelta a las pupusas and I am the one dealing with the customers and taking orders and everything else. But I prepare everything for them. So they, they just come over and make the pupusas and the other one does her job. So. But the recipes, I do the recipes on my own. So, yeah. Hey, that's cool, man. That's really, yeah. really cool. All right. Hey. And, and Okay. Have you ever dealt with, um, you know, with a difficult customer? Yes. Yes. Uh, I have. Well, you know, I have a few of them. Like, uh, they always ask me to give them some food. How do you say? Um, uh, que te lo van a pagar más tarde. Fiado. Okay. They, um, I mean, they, they want you to. I mean, they, they just want to pay you back later. Later on, yeah. So basically, and I did it with one of my friends, well, two of my friends the other day, and it's been about a month from when I started, and they haven't seen their money yet. And you know that I get, I spend every money that I, like the money that I get today, I go tomorrow to the store to buy new items to 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 keep it up because I have to I have to pay the cost, I have to pay the um, my employees, and basically money doesn't stay on my hands, so. And it's really difficult to deal with people like that because at the end, basically you want to buy something else, but you don't have the, the money to, to, have, para poder comprarlo. So it's okay, difficult. Okay, to, to, to buy it, right? And, they, yeah. and, and if you ask for the money, they, they get angry, I guess. Right? They get angry and they, they, they become your enemy. So it's difficult to deal with them. Yeah, and you so. Cannot, and it's difficult to say no because you try to be friendly with everyone and you now want you now. It is pos- it's impossible to be yelling at people in front of other customers because then other customers are not going to come back again. So dealing with customers in restaurants and fast food is not an easy um, challenge. All right, exactly. Okay, all right. I think, what do you think the best way of dealing, you know, to deal with that situation is? Uh, with customers like that? Well, uh, what I do... Is I give them one chance, I, I, or I tell them that I don't have the item that they are searching for, and they, I ask them to come back the next day. That maybe I'm gonna have it the next day because sometimes they wanna have delivery food, and they wanna have the food delivered to their home, but they don't have the money. So, um, and it happened to me like a few times already, and it's been weeks, months, and I have still haven't seen the money. So now what I do is like I said that I don't have the item. Um, if they wish to, if they wish to come over and see what I have, so they can bring their money, so I can talk to them in private, um, or I just say that I, I don't have the item. It's difficult though to do, to give the right answer. All right, all right, okay. I I think that the best way is you know, um, not to do it at all. I mean, either not to do it at all or just do it like once to once, you know, and then. You know, cause, it's, cause yeah, I mean that, that, that happens, you know, like, unless it's someone that, that like a friend of yours, I mean, I think that it's okay. Cause I mean, it's like, you know, that they might not pay you back, but at least, you know, that you're, they're your friends. Right. But I exactly. didn't think that people, you don't know, you know, it's like, you should be like, just, just right. You know, like, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I would love to do so, but we can't. So that's it. Right. 
And, yeah, exactly. And because you, you invest money for that, right? Exactly. Um, so, yeah. And the next one say, are you sensitive to beauty? In my case, um, I was. I was sensitive to my beauty, but when I uh, when I, I come to the point when I listen to this, uh, I don't know if you have you heard this uh, this song. It's called a Sunscreen. Everybody sunscreen. wears sunscreen. Yeah, uh, the la the gentleman says that if I can offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. And the other advice is you never look at the beauty magazines they will only make you feel ugly and that's reality when we check a beauty magazines and we see each other in the mirror we are like oh no we're missing this i should be wearing that and well women in general but men too right. we are do we do that and so basically i took that advice and i'm like well i don't worry about beauty because i'm gonna get older and at the end it's gonna be i'm gonna be me you know i feel good about it and be happy with how i am and how i look like and now it's becoming crazy and insane that people are offering uh, this new tea. Uh, I don't know what the name of it, but uh, because I don't really, uh, they say that if you drink that tea, you're gonna get, you're gonna lose some weight. But it's at the end, they then after that, they make you, they give you a menu that things that you're gonna eat daily, uh, a daily menu in order to lose some weight. So basically they giving, they selling you the tea but at the same time, they are selling this new uh, full daily menu that you're going to have to eat. So basically, you don't need that tea to lose some weight. You have to exercise, uh, eat, eat healthy, and try to do something, you know? Like, and so that's other things that I don't really, that's why I don't follow the beauty anymore. That like I used to when I was younger, when I was in the USA, I used to, get dressed every day. I used to buy uh, like a new shirt every day. Every week and I had a new pants, new shirt, new shoes, and I wasted my money on that. I came back to El Salvador and oh, half of my items were left there that I didn't even wear. And it's like, I lost that money. So I'm not gonna do that again, you know? Right, no, that's, that's um, I mean, that's <laughs> the smartest decision I, I would say, yeah. All right? Very good, very good. I'm going to check out the other guys. David, all right, let's finish uh, the conversation and then we're going to go back. We already completed. You really, you already completed it? Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. We're going to go back now and okay. uh, we'll talk about it, right? Oh, what? Whatever did I do my PowerPoint presentation? All right, guys. Beautiful. All right, guys. So let's let's check out what type of personality you know we have. All right. Very good. So let's start with uh, David. All right, David. What was your score, David? About Thomas, Mr. Tom, Mr. T. <laughs> Yes, I mean, did you finish all the questions? Because I, I, I'm not sure if you finished. No. All right. So let's let's finish. Like I right now, okay. Um, do me a favor. Just set your own scores, okay? So circle, you know, your own scores, and then we'll determine what you are, okay? Miguel, I know that you finished. So let's have your score. All right. So what was what was your score? Mine, I'm, a really, I'm not really sure right now, but Ellie's was 24. Ellie was 24, okay? Let's see what 24 tells us. So 24 is from, it's the first one, from 30, from 21 to 30. All right, so uh, Lydia, help me read what type of person you are. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Um, the first. Yeah, you you are your score was twenty four. So that's Ellie. Oh, the Ellie. I'm sorry, Ellie. I'm sorry. Okay. Ellie, you're practicing with Ellie. I'm sorry. All right, we'll go with you later, Lydia. Uh, Ellie, so help me read, Ellie. What? Help me read. Oh, okay. Um, this right here. 
Wait a minute. Um, because you are open mind, you like to keep up with the latest trends and latest. innovations. Latest trends and innovations. Accepting the status quo bores you. You see mistakes as a learning experience. Very good job, well, guys. All right. So this is the mm -hmm. type of person that you are, uh, Ellie. All right. You're open-minded. Mm -hmm. You like to keep up with the latest trends and innovations. All right. Uh, no. no? <laughs> Not exactly. You're the first one and the last one. So. <laughs> okay, right. I, I mean, your score was 24, right? Yeah, All or right. 22. No, we, we get pretty confused. Really I mean, aware 22, of 22, 24, it's, it's okay. It's within this range, right? It is okay, right. yeah. Actually, All right. I think I am also between in that range, but I think I'm more in the 11 and 20 range. All right, let's let's see, okay? All right, let's let's see, okay? I, I mean, it is it is you who determines this, okay? All right, but uh, what is the score? What is uh, Miguel's score, Lydia? I mean, uh, Ellie? Ellie, so I was uh, taking note about, about their score and mine, and I, with the same um, pencil, so I get confused <laughs> when I try to, to, to do the score of Miguel. Maybe I didn't understand the, the topic okay. <laughs> because I got pretty All right, Miguel, be honest. Are you a risk taker, yes or not? I mean, uh, from one no. to from zero to four. Maybe, maybe, I mean, for, maybe for he was a one. I think that he, was a one. All right, this he, was. Let's put it at a two. Just to make sure. All right. Oh. Actually, <laughs> you talked to me about this. You're a one, right? Are you naturally cur curious? I would say. Yeah, I think so. I, from zero to three. Between two and three. All right. So let's put it at you two. have to answer. I am always okay. This is how I want you to answer. I am always curious okay so let's let's use okay let's use one of the adverbs okay okay i'm sometimes curious okay i'm sometimes curious okay so that's a two okay uh number three do you look for opportunities to improve things always okay all right repeat i always look for opportunities to improve things i always do look for him for opportunities to improve things very good okay are you a are you sensitive to beauty yeah, I think so. All right, but what? I you have to I give an adverb. I am. I think I'm always sensitive to beauty. Okay, right. Do you challenge accepted ideas? Sometimes I do. Sometimes okay. I do challenge accepted ideas. Do you keep an eye out for news, for new fashions and products? Yes, but I don't. I never use them on myself. So I always look at keep an eye out, but I never use them on myself. No, I sometimes. Okay. All right. Um, do you do you adapt easily to new situations? I always adapt easily think, to new situations. Okay. All right. Let's, let's sometimes let's, rarely. So let's put it as sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Do you trust your guesses, intuitions, and insights? Now, don't yeah, change I the think. score. I mean, give me the same answers that you gave to to Ellie. Okay. I can't remember them. <laughs> All right, very good, but but be yeah, honest. Okay? Why don't it? Well, I don't remember that. <laughs> All right, so number, uh-huh. I think uh, I uh, always do because they tend to be right. Okay. Of, most of the time. All right, you, you're changing your score. Very good. Uh, are you more interested in the future than I'm in the past? Just more, I'm Never. always more interested in my future. Never. Yeah, I'm okay. not more interested in the future. All right, do you have a creative sense of humor? Rarely. I, Rarely. I, okay. I don't think I'm good with All right. making jokes. Very good. All right. So let's add this up, guys. Okay. So whoever is good at maths. Okay. Let's go. Three, so three, six, six nine, nine, 21, 11, plus three, 14, uh, plus two, 16, plus three, 19, 19, 20. All right. 20. We got 20. 20, is that right, guys? Do we have 20? Yep. Yeah, 20. Yep. All 20. Right, 20. Yes, 20. All right, so you're okay, so oh, you're really? in this you're in this range, okay? Yeah. You're in the second range here. All right. You have you have often good news, good uh, you often have good ideas, but you prefer to fill them out with friends before taking action. 
you're up to date with the new fashions and products, but unlikely to be the first in your group to try them. Oh, that's that's okay. That that's I agree more with that. All right, very good, very good. Okay. All right. So who'd like to go next, guys? All right, um, Mr. T. Right. What was your score, Mr. T? Did you did you write it down? Did you write it down? You you're muted. I got 23. You got 23, okay? So you're in this mm -hmm. range. So you're open-minded. You like to keep up with the latest trends and innovations. Accepting the status quo bores you. You see mistakes as learning experiences. Do you agree with this? Yes, I do agree with that. All right. Very <laughs> good. Very good, okay? All right. Who'd like to, to uh, share their score, guys? Five, four, three, two. All right, Lydia, let's go. What was your score? 25. 25, okay, so you got the same one. All right, so open-minded, like to, like to keep up with the latest trends and innovations. Uh, accepting the status quo bores you and you see mistakes as learning experiences. Do you agree with that? Do you, do you agree with that? What? Yeah, I agree right. with that. Very good, very good, all right. Uh, let's see, uh, Armando, what was your score? 24. 24, okay. Very good. You're within the same range as almost everybody else. Do you agree with your score? Being open-minded, you know, keeping up with the latest trends and innovations. So yes, I think that is the one that most describes myself. Okay, very good. It's the one, okay, it's the one uh, personality that describes you the best. Okay, very good. Ellie, what about you, Ellie? Uh, about what? All right. What was your score? Oh, 22. Okay, right. So I you, already, you, I already. You, no, I know, it. but you said, but you said it was different. Uh, yeah, 22. All right, very good. All right. Uh, and David, what was yours? 22. All right, it was 22 too? All right, because, since because everybody. Up in my, yeah. <laughs> Everybody was 22 guys, okay? All right. Anybody Greg, everybody you? but me. Everybody but Miguel, okay? Miguel is the special one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miguel. Good job, man. All right. Good job. All right, guys. Any questions so far? Or so far, so good? So far, so good. All right. Good. All right, guys. So, uh, good job, guys. Okay. Um, good practice. Let's go ahead and do a listening exercise right now, okay? All right, so again, guys, we're, everybody go to 4.5, um, and we're going to finish um, the listening exercises, okay? So let's go into the breakout rooms, and uh, and let's do that. Any questions, guys? No, so questions, far. Questions? So, so far, so good. So good. Very good, okay? I think that was the most interesting topic so far, you know? I got to know you a little bit better now. All right, guys, so <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Let's right, get let's ready go. to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Mr. T, all right. All right. All right. You can. Hello. Long time to see. Hello. Long time no see. Um, have you done it? Have you finished it? This part. I, yeah, I did. I only got two right answers. The second one is not right, so I don't know. Um, yes, like, okay. uh, you got the second one? Yes, 4.5, right? Yeah. What's the second one? Is, is he a business? I said, I heard that he was a businessman, but what do you, what do you write? Architect. The first one is architect. The uh -huh. second one? The small business owner. Business owner. A small business owner. Okay, got it, got it. That was the small. This freaking word <laughs> because you need to write or type in small. Mm -hmm. the small business small owner. Business owner. Oh, okay. <sighs> These things are, yeah. I, I said he was a businessman. So ah, that was a mistake. <laughs> And the other ones are a C A Z mm -hmm. and 
S-C-A-S-N-A-N. Yeah, yes. Um, what about the previous one? Did you... I had a problem with 3, 4.2. When you have to rewrite the sentence 4. again. 4.2. Uh, 4.2, let me check. Yes, I got it. Everything is okay. You got it right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask you for help, please, because... And which one? No, um, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm having a problem with it. And okay. I have it in my mind when I, when I type and it's not right. So basically, we have to rewrite the sentences again, right? Yes, so, but, uh, but reduce relative closes. So this <laughs> first. But then I thought um, maybe it's runner and this work. And I do. I did. Yes. Mm hmm Sorry. That's weird. It, it actually Let works me try me. it. Try, try like I, I'm reading it right now. This this earner is one word or is separate? First is one S and then is and then is two S. Yeah, business owner is like a um, space in There's between. There's a space between business and owner. There okay, is okay, let me check. And with this, I'm pretty much. I... No, why? Not 100%. <laughs> it didn't work? Yeah. Oh, shit. Please. Let me. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're very expressive. 